Hi Flosstube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 80. If you are new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitching. So I hope you stick around, like, subscribe, comment, interact, do all the things. If you are a returning friend, thank you for stopping by to spend some more time with me. I love you guys. So um, we have a lot to go over in this video. I have finishes, I have a ton of stitching, um, a very tiny order and some winners. But I'm gonna start off this video with um, a product review. I was reached um, by a company called Ben Q Light. And um, they asked me if I would be interested in checking out their light. And when I researched it, I was super excited about it because for me, light is what makes me be able to still do this. I, um, as you see, wear glasses and these are actually progressive bifocal. So um, over the years, it became a struggle. So I have done the Ot lights. I have a bright tech light, which I have loved, and um, it sits in my stitching area. And then the review on this one, I thought it just, it advertised that it shot out more light. So I said, yeah, let's give it a try. And when it came in, which was just this weekend, um, I got it all set up and I have been able to stitch with just cheaters, not looking through the magnifier of a light. So I don't have to have in my lap the magnifier and my product project and stuff. So I am so far really enjoying it. I will continue to use it and um, give you continued updates about it if um, if I see anything that's like a negative. But I'm it's actually a touch turn on and off. I'm gonna turn the light on and then I'll show it to you. But um, so I don't even know if I have it on the highest setting cause I'm still learning it. But this thing is, I'm reaching for it, is very heavy. Okay. Um, it has this banana shaped light here. And what it does is it shoots light out in these directions instead of just straight down. It has a very, this is just a desk setting. I about took myself out. So a very heavy plate on the bottom to hold it. And this right here is what turns it on and off. But it also has additional settings. If I hold it like for two seconds, it goes into different modes like reading mode and high tech mode. And this knob up here lets me change it. See how it just went orange versus the white. So um, I really am enjoying it a lot. And uh, for me, super happy because like I said, light is the key for me to be able to stitch. And it is for everyone, but um, when I was younger, I could stitch, I feel like everywhere in a closet even maybe, but um, these <laughs> have made my life different. So, um, but what I hope is that something like that will give me longer, my mom, the, the light and the, her hands a little bit made it difficult in the end. So, um, Hope you, the, all the information for this is in my description box. Um, check them out. I really, uh, I really like it so far. So, and I'm going to show you right now a picture of my setup before. And after. So, check them out. Check them out. Um. Let's move into this action-packed video. Not action, but lots of stuff. So first of all, winners, winners, winners. I have two winners for this two chart. And, or this chart, I have two copies of. Ooh, Janet. Um, I'm gonna insert the video here. All right, let's do this. The giveaway is for two copies of the, this chart right here. And I have uh, the URL loaded, the, the word sunshine, we're gonna get the comments. There's 40 of them. I'm doing this twice. Let's go for the first one. Look at it, it's being slow. All right, Audrey Fleming, um, you are my first winner and we will get your information and do it one more time. Pick another winner also. Second one is Kathy Mayfield. All right, congratulations. I need both of you to get me your address and we will get this to you. 
Congratulations, Audrey and Kathy. Please get a hold of me at janetjabber at gmail.com and I will get those sent out to you as soon as possible. I'm making a run today, but uh, it's no big deal for me to make a run to the post office. So um, anyway, we'll get them out as soon as possible. Congratulations. So I am going to jump into some finishes and then I've got stitching and then I've got the under 1000 sub club. So let's do this. Um, finishing. I'm, it's, I'm normally my piles here and it still is, but I have so much finishing. It's over here. Um, I don't know what I got into, but all of a sudden this girl like knocks it out of the park with finishing this weekend. So first, um, it's not that big, whatever. It's like six things. Uh, first of all, I want to show you, I painted chalk painted just what I had around this little gray tray. I got it at probably Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's just the little thin stuff. Painted it, put a magnet in the center, and these are seasonal ones that I stitched last year. I did not bring the charts here, but I know it's a drawn thread chart, and it's like spot of spring, summer, autumn, fall, or autumn, winter, and um, stitching button, Vicky, helps me with the charms, so let's do this. First one is my spring. And this is where my button is that Vicky helped, or my, yeah, button, I don't know, charm, that Vicky helped me with. All I did was put it on foam board, put a piece of uh, thin metal on here, did the thing, and then it will pop in and out. And I'll just lean this in, like, I have a two-tier tr wood tray that I picked up at a farm store. So, um, spring, and you've seen these before, but I'm showing them to you anyway. So, my... Summer, and there's a cat hair on it. Summer. Autumn. Oh, get that. Autumn and winter. Love them. So another thing that I'll seasonally change out. Then my next two, this didn't work out exactly like I planned, but um, I will improvise. So a long time ago, I bought this. And the idea, and this is from Hobby Lobby, I'm sure, yeah. There's a code on the back. And my intent was the Frosted Pumpkins, um, they have this like sayings line that I've gotten several of. So my point was to make it go in there. But for these first two, I made them too tight. See, too tight. So I'm not sure that I'll use this, but I made cubits. I don't wanna make noise. I made cubits, so. That was fun. So this is the one from March. I didn't get it tight enough. Learning curve. It's just for me. Who cares? Um, and the one from February. And this ribbon was too big. So see how this one does this? Look, too big. So I had to fold it on the back. But whatevs. It'll still be perfect. So there's these. I think I'm going to have to find out something else for that uh, metal tray because I don't want to redo those. <laughs> So that's my fully finishes for this week. I don't know what got into me. All of a sudden, just on Sunday, I was like, yeah, let's do some of these. So super happy about that. Um, let me give my shout outs for the under 1000 sub club. So uh, this one, um, I'm super excited. I'm so excited about. So this one is a newer floss tuber and it is called Be More Creative. I caught just a snippet of her video. She actually has a free chart in her latest video that she charted and it's called, it says Bloom. It is so cute. Go check her out. I look forward to catching up on her videos. Um, and then my next one are these girls that I, I feel like I'm sitting there chilling and chatting with them. I actually wish I could chill and chat with them. So these are the ladies over at Three Trail Stitchers. And um, they're just fun and interactive. And it's fun to, for me to watch a group of girls sit and chat. So, uh, or ladies, sorry. Um, at, at the very end, they tell you you can peace out if you want, but they talk about what they've been watching um, while they're stitching or what they're into, podcast, um, channels on Netflix or whatever. But um, it's very enjoyable to hang out with them. So um, maybe someday I'll get to meet them in person. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so go check them out, share the love. So this is going to lead us into what I have been stitching on. So, and it has been a pile, which amazes me because I feel like it was a short week. I had a heck of a time getting my video out to you last week. It took forever to upload, which I've never had problems with, but whew, hopefully not this week. So 
Let's start off with my spring queen. I told you, please cheer me on to get the skin done. Well, I'm here to tell you it's spring and there's a lot of skin. So this is what my spring queen looks like. And I'm stitching this on a color and cotton white tee. And this is where I'm at on it. I leave my threads hanging, you know that. This is where I'm at. I'm still, I'm past the neck and going down to her chest area. But like I said, it's spring. So I still have, she's got a lot of chest to stitch still, but I'm making progress. So I'm super happy with it. Super happy with it. Um, it feels good to be stitching on a spring project. So um, that one leads me, and I, that's my daily stitch, if you don't recall. Um, my next one um, was a, is my, magic study my heaven and earth design full coverage this is what it looks like and yes yeah, somebody told me to laminate this so uh, i need i have a, th a few things that i need to go get like turned into a book and laminate so i need to get to the office store <sighs> i am so excited to show you this i am at over two percent done and um there was a challenge this week on one of my groups of collecting Easter eggs. And for every Easter egg you collect, you had to stitch 100 stitches. So there were 12 eggs, 1200 stitches. Oh my gosh, 1200 stitches in one weekend. Look, I wish I had a before and after, but I don't, so I suck. Um, this is where it is. I am so excited, so, so excited. Um, wow. And now I see why Candace K was talking about number 32 being so addicting to just keep stitching. So there's another one under 1000 sub club, but Candace is, oh no, Candace made a thousand. I forgot. Congratulations, Candace. So anyway, um, thank you for anyone that's gone and seen her and shared the love. I'm so excited for her. There's, yeah. So anyway, this is where I'm at on my magic study and still loving it, still, still loving it. Um, which was probably one of my fears on doing in heaven and earth designs is because like, it's a big commitment for a huge project and you better love it. I mean, maybe not, I have other projects I've fallen out of love that are little. I don't know, I'm rambling. Anyway, my next one is one of my Whipgo. Um, Whipgo, if you're new, is, um, like bingo, it's like a bingo board that Jessie Marie does stuff created over on Facebook. So for the month of April, one of my draws was Seeking Refuge. Yes, this is a glare. I made a little flashcard. That's what I should do with Magic Study. <laughs> um, it is stitched on, oh, Magic Study is stitched on um, 25 count um, Easy Grid. This is stitched on a 20 count Sand Ada that I also dipped in some coffee and tea and I'm not even gonna unfold it this is where I'm at basically I'm working on some mortar but I'm happy with it so um I I really just want that brick and mortar done I do uh, just so you know when I get further along in this I'll be like I really just want that grass at the bottom done <laughs> anyway <laughs> Um, I love the saying on that one. And you know what? I'm going to read that to you in case I know you've probably seen this everywhere. But the saying is, when the world seems to be out of control, I find a way to nurture my soul, seeking refuge with needle and thread, the angst and anxiety I no longer or no longer I dread. Um, I have said it before. Cross stitching is so good for my mental health. Um, anxiety as I have gotten older just runs runs through me. I can tell mentally and physically on days that I don't stitch. I just feel like out of sorts. So, um, so it's good, self-care. My next one is being done with my friend, Amy at Sprinklestein Stitchers. So if you have this tart, jump in. Um, this is a design by the Whistle, Whistle Stop Stitcher. It's Chester's Place. We are doing this as a salve for Grouchy. And I have Half-ish, more than half-ish of the border done. And I am happy, happy, happy with how I'm coming along. So um, before I bring this back to you, hopefully next time, I have at least connected those borders um, because that's how I know that I'm on the right track. Anyway, oh, wait, what am I stitching this on? I'm stitching this on a To Die For fabric 18 count river stone. So 
Very good modeling. I love it. Um, love it. All right. So, sorry. That was noisy. I got a new phone. I hope this doesn't pick up crazy background noise. It probably will. My next piece is my Floss Tube Friends that I'm doing a round robin with. I believe the hashtag is Floss Tube Friends RR. Floss Tube Friends RR. This is what it looked like. This is a new chart from um, Needlework Expo. I'm stitching it on a 20 count flax by Zweigart, and then I like did some extra. It didn't look grungy enough for me. And I'd already put stitches in it. So then I like became a, it became a thing for me. So before I show it to you, I'm just going to tell you, I have some like stain spray, but I, I started out with, I like literally took tea bags and made tea and then I blotted them on this. I had parchment paper, blotted them on, put it down, let it dry. It still didn't look grungy enough. I probably could have stopped there if I'd have let it dry all away. Um, and then I sprayed it with some of my stain. This is what it turned out to. See over here, that was the normal color, and then I grunged it up. And this is where I'm at. So I have all of the border done except for floss tube friends, which I hope to knock out in the next day or so. And the round robin people that are doing this with me are Bobby from Pumpkin Creek Prem. I did it, Bobby. Um, Heather from Punky Pearls, Stacy Stitches, Jessica, who is going to have a floss tube soon, and Sally, who we tease her that uh, she's next to get a channel. She's not responded to that comment, Sally. <laughs> um, so that's where I'm at on my floss tube friends. Um, I just grabbed from a pile. I don't know. They're not in like, well, they start out in a little order, but um, my next one is year one of frog boards. Year one of frog boards. This is still available on the Black Needle Society if you're interested. Um, future ones. Like you have to go to the retreat um, to be able to buy them or something. But um, I, I love this. <laughs> I am stitching this on a 32 count vintage country mocha. It's a cutoff from my one nation. So this is literally all I got started. I literally just started the words, but I'm happy to have it started and I will continue to plug along on it. Super happy. Those were two Floss to friends and this were, I believe, yeah, were the challenges I said to myself that I told you last time that I was telling you to keep myself accountable and I did it, friends. I did it. All right, last piece to show you. And this one I don't show all the time, even though I stitch on it every day that I'm at work. I stitch on it. I leave this at work and um, get one thread in while I'm there. So, this is my Mira. This is just a photocopy of the chart. Um, it is Silver Moon T. And I am stitching it on a 25 count Lugana that I hand dyed myself. And I'm making a mess. All right. Sorry, delayed showing of you. <laughs> this is where I'm at on it. I love how it's coming together. Um, I love it. So a lot of fill in right here. Now I had someone comment that like my beads won't fit and I knew that and didn't know that. I said, thank you. <laughs> I think I said, thank you. So I had a plan once I figured out now, yes, unfortunately I bought the bead pack. So, um, so that's a thing, but I will, I will, oh, I lost it. Wait, I'm back. Um, Yes, I had bought the bead pack, but when I was down at, um, down in Florida, I sat there and pulled up the beads and had this plan to where like the little glass beads in this, I'm going to switch out with Krynik. And then these two are like thicker beads, number eight. And I'm going to switch this out with these seed beads. And I think it'll work. The owner and I talked about it and we, th we think it'll work. So I don't know, we'll see. If not, I'll switch it out to DMCs and just go with it because I'm not putting all that stitching in and then not have it. But this was originally started as, um, let me see if I can do that before I jumped into a Hade. And as you already know, I already jumped into the Hade. So 
we just get it done. We get it done. This pile over here could possibly fall. I'm a little scared. <laughs> all right. So, um, that's all the stitching that I have. I've still got to talk about a little bit of haul and plan. So if you're going to peace out, peace out. Um, if that's not your jam, but it is just my normal order from pumpkin Creek prem Bobby, um, hooks me up when I actually need something. <laughs> so like always with Bobby, you get a little pack of uh, goodies. And there's her card. I know it's glary, but I don't know if that's focusing. Uh, so what did I get from Bobby? First off, another piece of the spring release during Needlework Expo. So let's talk spring. I need to convert this to sulky because I don't think Kathy's done that yet, but Oh, well, I can find the charts. I need to get going on that so I can get it ordered anyway. I'm behind on that. I didn't do the winter one. It may just go in the bag because I want them all eventually. Um, so far, I've only done fall. Anyway, but this was the real order that I placed. Remember I did that freebie from that freebie uh, quirky. Well, I did it like it's a fish. I don't know if it was called something else, but it was whatever. It's a, the Darling and Wimps whimsies charts of the little Quakers. You've seen them everywhere. Um, this is the first one. So Bobby got me caught up to date and now there's two new releases that um, Bobby, I'm gonna have to have those. <laughs> so Puffin, Hedgehog, Bat, Fox, Reindeer, and Lovebirds those stitched up like in a day. So, um, I just thought they were, I love the Quaker look. So quick, easy, um, get them done. So I asked, I had to have them all, all. So that is it for, um, my order. I don't know that I've got anything else coming in. I mean, my fabric of the month could be it. I do have some haul coming in that is kind of stitching related. I am attending in July Frogwarts year two and I'm a Ravenclaw and I was, um, that was verified this last week. I don't remember the room right now. Astronomy. I think I'm astronomy something. Um, so, uh, I got me some stuff coming in <laughs> and I want to make me a couple t-shirts. I took the time off from work. So yeah. Um, and then of course, uh, stitch con is on the brain and I ordered my First, I placed an order for a sweatshirt so I can have some gear while I'm there. I look, there's all kinds of uh, people reaching out that are gonna be there. So I hope, I hope to meet everyone. I, I'm gonna have to go table to table and meet people. And I hope people are not afraid to step up and say hi. Um, I'm excited, excited. So, okay, let's jump into plans. I don't have any specific plans. Uh, I gotta do my yearly focuses, uh, Magic Studies one. This week, I'm going to work on probably positivity rules and maybe my queen of freedom and also my whip go. So I need three or four more days on seeking refuge. I really just want to get the bricks in. So uh, I may do more than the required to get the bricks in on the house. And uh, that's it. A lot of stitching, a lot of stuff. I got an appointment today with my husband. Um... I know we're late in the video, so some people may have pieced out, but uh, before spring break, and my vacation before spring break, my husband had his, uh, oh, I'm over 50 colonoscopy, and it didn't come back with great news, so, um, but then it came back, we read the report, and it came back with good news, but today's actually the follow-up with the doctor, so we'll see, um, and what he has to say, and other than that, we are plugging along. I don't, I don't know what else is this week's guide. I, Ooh. Okay. You may not be into this, but, uh, I'm getting a tattoo right here ish. I can't show it on this video on Friday. So hopefully that's healed enough for me to maybe show at the end of my video for the people that don't want to see that stuff. And, um, so that's on the gamut and that's it. Spring is in the air. We have hung out, had cookouts, um, stood at the end of the drive, talked to neighbors. It is, is just, so good to be that time of the year. So, um, all right. Like always at the end of the video, I'm rambling. <laughs>
<laughs> and you guys tell me you love it, but all of a sudden I just feel awkward. So I'm going to get out of here. Keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.